everyone! So today is going to be kind of a different video. I asked you guys on Instagram to tell me things that you have heard about me or assumptions about me and I'm going to answer them, react to them, debunk them right now. Um, I made a little list right here so let's just get right into this. So I'm just going to be responding to them. Um, these are in no particular order so work with me. There were some repeats so I just put one down and um yeah, for the most part, I think I got most of them. So first we have uh, that you low-key hate lip balm. Um, I do not hate lip balm at all. Uh, I think it's a great thing. Um, do I hate the amount that I have? I do and I don't because... Sorry, I keep looking over here to look at my lip balm collection. Um, but I do and I don't because I like the amount that I've accumulated and I'm really proud of my collection. I think it's really cool to have something like that, but it's also very overwhelming and it can be a lot and sorry, I have a cold, but um, yeah, it's just, it's a lot. But I do not by any means hate lip balm. I love putting it on. I think it's a great thing. I just don't have a need for all of the lip balm that I have. You have more than 1,000 lip balms. I do have more than 1,000 lip balms. You can see in my most recent video, the video right before this one, um, that I have way more than 1,000 lip balms, I'm pretty sure. The last time I counted, I had probably 2,000, but that was around two years ago, a year and a half ago. So it's definitely more since then. You still sometimes collect lip balm. Um, I honestly have completely stopped collecting lip balm for probably about a year now. Um, I'll, the only lip balm that I buy is like ones that I use on a daily basis. So like sugar cookie chapstick, I bought a three pack of that and I honestly think that's the only lip balm I've bought in the past year. <laughs> You stand Panic, honestly, same. Um, yes, I love Panic at the Disco. I saw them in concert at a pop-up show uh, last March, so exactly a year ago, at the Stone Pony. It was really, really fun, and I got to see them perform Silver Lining for the first time and say amen for the second time they were on Jimmy Fallon the night before, I think, and that was their first performance. But yes, I love Panic at the Disco, and they are pretty much all that I listen to, and Brendan Yuri is... <sighs> you have a lot of friends. Um, honestly, I don't have a lot of friends, and not really... It's more by choice. Um, I could have more friends, but I kind of like to stick to my few friends that I have, my really close friends, and... I find that that's really all I need. I don't need the whole drama with friend groups and everything. I, I'm happy with what I have and you don't need a lot of friends to get through high school. I have, I really just have like one close friend and I've been perfectly happy with just that. You have a boyfriend. Um, currently I am single. I'm talking to someone but we're not dating. Uh, I got out of my last relationship in probably mid-December. And before that, I was in a relationship for three months, before that six months, and then before that two months. And so I've been in four relationships total, and right now I'm probably going to be getting into a relationship with the guy that I'm talking to. Uh, but for right now, it's complicated. <laughs> you are an undercover detective, and you are older than your age you say you have. No. Um, I'm 15 years old and I'm turning 16 on May 23rd, sweet 16, and yeah. You vape. Um, I do not vape. Uh, children, do not vape. Do not do drugs. Stay in school, get good grades, go to college, and be your best you you could be. You're a model. Um, thank you, but I am definitely not a model. Um, sometimes I like to pretend that I am. I would love to do modeling, but I don't think I'm quite frankly, good enough. <laughs> um, I don't think I have the face. I don't think I have the body. Uh, I might have the hair when, when it's straight, but I think that's kind of all I have going for me. So probably going to stick to modeling for my Instagram. That you didn't expect to have as many followers as you do. Obviously, when you start out, no one expects to have the amount of followers that they gain. However, I did really, really hope for it, and I remember one day I was in the car with my mom and I told her about my YouTube channel and I said, um, yeah, I'm gonna be YouTube famous. And she was like, what are you talking about? No, you're not. And 
I wouldn't say I'm YouTube famous now, however, I do have quite the following and I'm really really proud of it and I love you guys all so much and I appreciate you so much. You've never finished a lip product. Um, yeah, that's true. I have never in my life finished a lip product. I don't use enough lip products consistently to actually finish them. Uh, I switch like every day. I'm wearing a Smashbox liquid lipstick today that I've never worn before. I've had it since like November. Um, yeah, I switch pretty much every day. I don't use enough to get through it. And if I'm working on go getting through a lip balm, I lose it. <laughs> Your lips are sometimes chapped. Um, no, my lips are always chapped and I don't use enough lip balm, which is really ironic. However, most of my lip balms in my collection by now are at least a year old, if not older. So most of them are expired and I'm kind of afraid to use them slash can't use them. So I kind of stick to like a few solid ones and the rest are just like for my personal collection. You regret being a lip balm channel because now that's all people think of you as. Um, no, I definitely do not regret having a lip balm channel because number one, at the time, that's what I loved. I was so passionate about it. And number two, it's what got me to the point that I'm at. If I didn't do lip balm, I probably wouldn't have the following that I have. And I like to think that people don't only think of me as a lip balm channel. I know it's mainly what people think of me as because that's how I got my start. But people subscribed for lip balm and I think they stayed for me. I, at least I like to think that. Because, um, I don't know, but... I, hopefully people don't just see me as a lip balm channel, they see me as a person, but um, yeah, no, I definitely do not regret being a lip balm channel because there weren't that many lip balm channels at the time and I think it really helped me like get bigger because if I started as a makeup channel, there are so many beauty gurus and so many makeup channels that I can't compete with that. You're popular at school. Um. At my school, there's not really popular people and there aren't many cliques. Everyone is just kind of friendly with everyone and everyone knows everyone and it's just, it's a really nice environment. Um, however, if you were to rank people at my school from popular, I'm definitely not up there. Um, and also, I think that's more by choice. Like I said, I kind of stick to my few friends and I'm perfectly fine with that. You're goth-ish. Um, I don't think I'm goth-ish. I just like alternative music and shop at hot, hot Topic from time to time, but definitely not goth. You live in the U.S. Yes, I am born and raised in New Jersey in the U.S. You don't collect as much lip balm as you used to and you collect more makeup now. That is 100% correct. However, I don't collect any lip balm now. I s exclusively, good word, good English, collect makeup and I love it and I'm really passionate about it and it's my new like lip balm thing and it's my obsession and I love it. So that was the last one so um there you guys go thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I hope this cleared up some stuff about me or answered some questions that you had about me and um yeah if you liked it make sure to leave a like and drop a comment down below let me know what you want to see next and press that subscribe button right there to become a member of the lippy squad because you guys are the bomb and i'll see you guys next time bye